Guys, I said some things this week that I can't take back. I hurt some feelings. I bothered some people. I burnt some bridges. And all I can think about now is if I could go back and change that, I wouldn't because I stand by it. Gear does not matter. And so we're going to prove that today by building the cheapest stream setup at this desk that we possibly can. Let's do it. You know, the best thing about this video is you're going to make some money. I'm not going to spend any money on production costs and we're going to pay some bills because we're going to talk about today's sponsor. You all know it's owned.tv. They are your, say it with me, one-stop shop for all your stream aesthetic needs, whether it be overlays, panels, alerts, banners, whatever you need, they've got it. Plus, one of my favorite things about them is that they are all modular. So if you and all your friends go out and buy the alpha gaming design that you're looking at here, which by the way, we made together. I think it looks really great. None of you are going to have the exact same overlay because you can pick and choose the different pieces that you would like on yours. If you'd like to make the smart move like many from the community have done, feel free to use the link in the description below, which by the way, it does help support the channel. So thank you. And if you'd like 40% off at checkout, make sure you use code alpha. So let's talk about what we're going to do here. This is my desk that I use for things like unboxing and equipment reviews, uh, experimental stuff we do right here. I'd like to turn this into the cheapest stream setup possible, not just the cheapest possible, the cheapest good looking stream setup possible. Cause that's, that's, that's pretty important. I feel like that's better than just a cheap setup. Anyone can get a cheap setup. It's about getting a cheap setup that is above the bar of what it takes on Twitch. There are a lot of tricks that you can do to make your stream look good for next to nothing. And we're going to do all of those things. So that includes uh, making your camera look good. That includes making your lighting look good, which, which in turn makes your camera look good. We're going to talk about your audio. We're going to talk about control interfaces, the whole setup for as cheap as possible. Super important, by the way, because everyone has a different gaming setup. Everyone wants different amounts of frames. If you're playing uh, Animal Crossing, you don't even need 1080p. If you're playing Valorant, you're gonna want at least 140 frames. So PC, gaming PC, streaming PC, console, whatever, we're not talking about that today. We're talking entirely about production of your stream, making it look good for your viewers. It's also really good we're not using a PC because we have like a Ryzen 9 and a, an RTX 3080 over there. That would really drive up the budget. You don't need that. We're not talking about that. Let's get started turning this into a stream setup. In order to do this, I had to pick up a couple things just locally. So I headed to the nearest Lowe's, grabbed some dome lights, LEDs, and command strip hooks to hang them. I didn't know exactly what brightness to get the lights. So I grabbed this one that's like a three different brightness level model. It's a little bit pricier. Figure we can find the best brightness and then you can grab a cheaper model. Then I ran to Target, picked up some tissue paper to use as a light diffuser. Then I got a little distracted driving by my house to see how the progress was coming. Looking good. Started heading home, picked up some ramen on the way, and here we are. Let's get it all put together, shall we? So the very first thing we're going to do in this setup is we're going to set up the lighting because the lighting ends up being more important than the camera in a lot of instances. A good camera is going to look terrible if the lighting is terrible. So we took the bulbs, we put them in the dome light, which concentrate the light forward, and then we covered them in this tissue paper. And what the tissue paper does is it diffuses the light. So rather than coming from a single small source, the bulb, it's now coming from a very wide surface area. This gives the shadows on your face a little bit more blur. It softens them up a little bit. And it's something you can do for literally a buck fifty. We're also going to be using Epoch Cam, which sets up your phone as your camera. It only costs about eight bucks. And let's face it, the camera that's on the phone in your pocket is already 10 times better than any cheap webcam you could possibly buy. And it looks like this, which is honestly pretty good. <laughs> I think looking at it now, I probably would have gotten a bulb that was a little bit cooler. This one's a little bit too orangey, but it's not terrible. And this was super cheap. So if we pay $16 for bulbs, $20 for the dome lights, a buck 50 for the tissue paper and $8 for the app. Plus you can get a desk mount for your phone for like 12 bucks. That brings us to 5750. I think. Plus what I can do with my phone, I'm able to make my camera super wide like most iPhones are able to do. And on this 1080p screen that allows me to do some cool stuff like I do on my current scene and give like an ultra wide look filling in these spaces with overlay or maybe moving it up here and having space down below for my alerts. That's exactly how I do my current scene on Twitch right now. Also another thing I would do is I would go super wide to get a scene like this. And then on my gameplay scene what I do is I would just crop in like that. And now we can jump back and forth between full screen ultra wide and a nice crop on my face for gameplay. And let me compare this to another 50 to $55 setup, the Logitech C920, which actually looking at Amazon, you can't get for like less than 80 bucks right now. So this is actually a more expensive setup, 
even without the lights. The majority of what we spend money on was our lighting because that's much more important than the camera itself, especially at the low end like this. So if we were to, instead of spending $8 on an app and then most of our money on lights, if we were to just buy an $80 webcam, it would look like this. So if this is what you're going for, you do you. Let's move to audio. As for the microphone, we've gone with my favorite cheap microphone, the Razer Siren Mini. We've used it in multiple tests. It's won every single one of them. And just to get the microphone closer to my mouth, we're gonna put it on this boom arm. So with the microphone being $50, the arm being $1,350, that brings us to, well, our last total was <laughs> $57.50, right? I don't even remember anymore. If it was $57.50, that brings us to a total of $121. For our camera, our camera stand, our lights, our microphone, and our microphone stand. This is a pretty solid looking streaming setup. You can absolutely gain viewership this way. Nobody's gonna come in and complain about the quality of your stream if it looks like this. So what you're hearing in this microphone right now is plugged directly into the computer. No effects, no plugins, anything on it. Uh, if we wanted to add EQ and compression, it would adjust it to sound like this. So you can see there's a slight difference before and after we got maybe a little additional clarity, some better levels so I don't get too loud or too quiet at times. If you're looking to add these kind of effects to make your voice pop a little bit, we've done a video on this before on how to make a cheap mic sound like a studio mic. So I'll link that down below. This actually, this is killing me. Hold on. I should have straightened this earlier. There. That's better. You know, and by the way, don't mind the mess. You guys know I'm moving in two months. I've, I've given up. I've given up keeping this place clean. It's just not gonna happen. The new place will look nice. But the last thing we'd need in a cheap stream like this is some kind of control, some kind of cheap version of a stream deck, for example, for you to switch back and forth between your scenes really easily. There are gonna be two pretty solid free options for you. The first one is Touch Portal, which there is a free version of. You're limited by the amount of scenes that you can add to it and the amount of buttons you can use, basically, but it's still free. However, we're currently using our phone as our webcam, so that's not an option for us. What we're gonna do instead is just use our fancy little number pad here. If you are relatively new to OBS and you didn't know this, you can go into your settings and go into hotkeys, and you can find all the different scenes. For example, we've got our cheap camera scene, our cheap gameplay scene. We're on our cheap gameplay scene right here. If we set our number pad to number lock, we can set this to one, and then we can set our cheap camera to that big old number zero. That makes life really easy. Keep in mind, these are different than the standard one that you can see I just typed on there, or zero versus number zero. Two totally different buttons. So you can still use this when you're gaming and use one, two, three, and four to switch your weapons or whatever you use, and then go to your number pad and switch your scenes that way. Let's check it out. It's at zero, let's hit one. But if I hit zero and one, Above the keyboard, it does nothing. Zero on the number pad, one, and there we go. We got our free little stream deck sitting over on the side of our keyboard. The last important piece of the puzzle for any streamer is your background or your room. A big part of streaming is feeling like a person is sitting in the room with you hanging out. And if you have a really cool space, it makes it a much more enjoyable experience. So I've got two options for the you. The first option I'd like to show you is what I used for a really long time. They're these relatively cheap RGB floodlights you can buy on the internet that illuminate your entire room a specific color. For example, blue. Most of these come in two packs, so you can actually have a second one illuminating the other side of your room a different color, and you can kind of have a mix and match situation going on. I have a second one somewhere. Couldn't find it. I'll look for it in the move. No big deal. But these are about $35 for a two pack, and these can do a really good job of making your room look more exciting or making you pop off the screen. You can notice blue is generally the opposite of skin tone, so I have a little bit more depth to my room right now as my face pops off in front of the blue. But another option that you can do, which we've made an entire video on, and it especially works when your room, like mine, is a giant mess, and it will be a mess, until we move. But as you can see in this video, you can take a picture of your room or any other room or any room you find on the internet, blur it a little bit, and then we grabbed a $10 sheet from Walmart, we hung it behind us, and then green screened ourselves in front of the exact same room we were in, but we blurred it a little bit, turning our $8 camera into what looks like a full on DSLR. And that option cost us about $10. So Sam, I have entirely lost track of how much everything costs right now, but if we were to do the green screen version, uh, I'm gonna let Sam do it. Maybe we'll put it on this side. What's the, here's the total of the green screen version, and then here's gonna be the total of the version with the floodlights, which would be $25 more than this side, and that's what we're looking at for a grand total for a very well put together stream setup. Let me go turn off that light real quick. The purpose of this video is to show you how low the initial investment can be just for you to get started 
and at least recognize if this is the career that you want to pursue. No one wants to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on gear just to find out you hate editing, you hate Twitter, you hate social media. That happens sometimes. Start with a really small initial investment, get experienced in the industry, and as things start to look up, start to invest in your gear. But I hope this helped, hope you enjoyed the ride. If you have any extra questions, make sure you jump over to my Twitch channel. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. And of course, happy streaming. Brothers, if you ever need a need a V2 route, um, I I will still work for you. Don't Everybody has a prize. Huh? Sell out. Have a, come on, Miko. Have a backbone. Who oh. said?